welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm gonna bring an MVNE um, clone slash docking station. So we're gonna take a look at it and see how it works. So this is working for the M.2 drives um, NVNE. Uh, so we're gonna see how good it works and if it does work and if it's worth it. Well, we'll test it out too. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so we got our power connection, all right? Let's get our power cord. And we got our two connections. These are actually um, two different connections. There's a, a Type-C to Type-C. All right, let's take a look at what you get. First of all, you get the drive itself, all right? And it's really small. Aluminum casing, uh, all right, there's a button here that actually it's um, for cloning. You just push the button, it starts cloning. Um, it tells you exactly A and B. Uh, the main one, the read, and then the right. Okay, so you got two of them, the read and then the right. It tells you right here, and the, you can't even, let me see if, we, if I could put some little description in there, right there. So if you guys can see it, it gives you the read and write, A and B, and it's for, of course, you know, M.2 and VNE uh, um, drives. So it takes two of them. Uh, on the side of it, there's a power button here. There's a power button. There's a voltage power for five volts and then the type C connection. Now, type C connection, it's really short. I mean, you're going to put this in the in a laptop pretty much, or you're going to have to buy a longer cable if you have a desktop to want to use this on. Now, this is good for you guys that are going to be out there uh, cloning your drives, or if you want to recover stuff, it's another way to do it. And if you don't have another proper way of recovering, and you hate to take the desktop and, and take the parts off and the laptop apart and then just put the drive, this is another way you can do it, easier way. Um, the 5 volts, it's, it looks like heavy-duty power cord connection, but it's a little tiny connection that goes in the side. Uh, it has rubber feet, pretty much, um, so stabilize the whole thing. But this is fits in your pocket, in your palm of your hand too. So that's not bad. You know, a little drive. We're going to put it to the test. We're going to bring a laptop. We're going to see if we could clone something and see if I could read it and, and then write back to it. So also you could use this like just to recover stuff. Or like I said, you could back up stuff in there if you want to take it to go or something. It's another giant James Bond device that I like, you know. So I call them James Bond devices because they're small, tiny, and they do a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what else you can do with it. So I'm going to clone something, and at the same time, I'm also going to see if I can read to it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so right now, as you can see, I only have one cable. So I'm going to be able to write to it, but not to clone it. If you want to clone it, you're going to have to remove this. I'm looking at the instructions. Um, um, so right now I'm gonna turn it on. I have one drive only. I'm gonna see what what comes out of it, and and you can see I just cranked it up right now. I just formatted the drive. We're gonna drag something in there, and let's go ahead and go in there. And I'm just gonna drag it so you could use it to recover stuff and move stuff. I'm just putting a folder that's around 15 gigs on um, transfer, and the transfer rate's not that bad. You know, it's 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 at 600 to 640 megabytes per second. So speeds are pretty good transferring just to the drive itself. Of course, it's type C, so there's a faster transfer rate. Now we're all gonna clone this, all right? So right now we should have one folder and we're gonna clone it to see if it shows up on the other drive. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do that in a bit. So I'm just gonna show you guys how fast it is to, just by talking to you, it just took around a couple of seconds. So we had that one folder in the D drive and that's this drive right here. So we got 15 gigs. Uh, for It's a 500 gig um, drive, but we only have five, five, 15 gigs of files in here. So let's go ahead and clone it. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And we're gonna turn it around. You guys can see. So I'm gonna grab a brand new drive. This drive right here. It's about a terabyte from 500 to, to, to a terabyte. We're gonna transfer it. So let's go ahead and do that. I have it plugged in and I cannot clone it, but if you could see A and B are showing up, there's B now, B showing up in here, but you can't clone it. You can't hit anything cloned. You're gonna have to disconnect from here and then connect the power. So let's go ahead and do that. Disconnect this. And then we're gonna connect the power. And now we're gonna crank it up, turn it on, and we have power. To copy it, once you have the two LED lights and you have the only power, it's there's no data connection. If you guys see it, it's disconnected. You hold down for three seconds this. One, two, and you should see a light and there it goes so it's going to start copying over and let's see how fast it is so we're copying 15 gigs over to the 15 gigs and right now if you can see it it's blinking 
and it's giving you an indication of where we're at right now and it's at 20 percent and this is only 15 gigs of transferring we haven't even started transferring terabytes yet you know i just wanted to test it out see how fast it goes so if you can see it, it's moving on to the second light i see it blinking here all right it seems like it's finished but i can't really tell that much the lighting sucks on this thing it's not very good if you can see it um, I turn off some lights too, but it seems like it, they're all flashing from from my perspective But I only see this one pretty much flashing and we're gonna stop and see if it did copy over the stuff We're gonna power it off now We're done right now and we're gonna wait to see if it pops up. So let's go ahead and pop it up here Pump came up because I took out the other one. So that one is taken off So let's turn it off and that's the original one. It just came back on so we're gonna turn it off Disconnect this one. We're gonna plug in the one that I cloned, put it in there, and then crank it up. It's turning on already, and it might be being identified right now. So we're gonna keep it as is and see if it comes up. Oh, it just came up, and if it come up. Let me see. Close this out. It was D drive, and there it is. The copy of the 15 gigs. That was quick. Actually, look, took like a minute just to do that. So that's not bad.